The basic format starts with an author, last name, comma, first name, period, in quotations, title of the article or the web page, noticing that all of the important words are capitalized, followed by a period, and then close the quote. In italics, the name of the larger website that that page is a part of, period. After the name of the website, you want to give us the publisher information. Who is the one responsible, who owns the copyright, or seems like the larger group in charge of the website, if you have one. If you don't, you would put capital N, period, little p, period, for no publisher. A comma, and then the publication copyright last update to whatever level you can find. It may just be a year, it may be a day, month, and a year, whatever level you find is good. If you don't find a date, then little n period little d period for no date. After that comes the medium of publication, which because it's a web page will always be web, period. The access date in MLA format, day, then month, then year, a period. And finally, the URL or web address for the specific page you are citing, not the larger website it's a part of. You'll notice, again, as always, everything is double-spaced and everything after the first line is indented. What I've got here is a site, lots of ads, kind of distracting, hard to see where I'm reading. But I start at the top, here's my title. Generally, if you're going to have an author, they come somewhere near the title. I don't see an author here, so I'm willing to scroll down and see, okay, do I have an author down below? It's posted in adoption. I have related articles. The information here tells me is a disclaimer. I know they're part of the I Village family. And then I've got sort of an email address for thelaborofLove.com. I saw them up at the top. And the copyright is owned by this thing called Earth's Magic Inc. I still am not seeing anything that says, hey, I'm the author. I am responsible for the writing of this. Because I'm lacking something that seems like a true author, I'm going to say this one doesn't have one. It starts with a title. And it's very close in correct MLA format. Finding your birth parents after adoption. I feel all of these are the important words, so I've capitalized them all. In quotes, period, close quotes. After that, I want the name of the website. Well, up here I've got thelaboroflove.com. We saw the labor of love at the bottom. I do have a main page here. So I think, well, main page. It's the main page here. And still I'm on thelaboroflove.com. So pregnancy and parenting from the labor of love. I would say the laborofLove.com seems to be the larger website that this comes from, so I am comfortable giving the laborofLove.com kudos as the name of the website. So the laborofLove.com. I use their capitalization, as you can see, capital T, capital L, capital O, capital L, a period, and then the little com. So the laborofLove.com. It is in italics because this is the name of the website. Down at the bottom. We had the copyright, and the copyright generally is going to be owned by the organization or the publisher responsible for the site. Earth's Magic Inc. are the people who are publishing this site. So, Earth's Magic Inc., comma, and my last update, my publication date, you can see is just 2010. That's all I know about it. So, 2010. Again, this is a web, and today's access date is 8 DEC 2010, period. And then I include the address of the website. Because this is a longer website, you'll notice that I did manage to drop it and cut it so that it would break nicely. When you have long websites that will go for more than one line, you do want to try and break them at slashes because that's the, the clean break. You'll notice again, we are all double spaced and everything after the first line is indented. In MLA, you are trying to answer or fill in as much as you can with a website, but you'll notice that most websites are not going to give you absolutely everything, or if they do, you know, you're lucky. If you don't have, you can't put. If you don't have an author, you go on to the next thing you do have. If you don't know the publisher, you put the NP. If you don't have a date, you put an ND. Put what you can, do your best, just take it one step at a time, do due diligence, click around, see what's there. You may need to click in more than one place to get all this information, but it can be done. 